Well, some somewhat disappointing news, we will not be getting a Nintendo Direct this week. Mysteriously, the Pikmin 3 website has been taken down, which could point to that Pikmin 3 Deluxe rumor being true, so maybe we'll get a Nintendo Direct fairly soon here. There is somewhat of a silver lining here, however, because despite us not getting a Nintendo Direct this week, we are going to get a Mr. Sakurai Presents video showing off the next Fighter's Pass character. It says, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mr. Sakurai Presents, question mark, question mark, question mark. And it says, tune in January 16th at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sakurai even tweeted out a message with this and says, I'll be revealing a new DLC fighter for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in my next showcase. This time, the fighter hasn't been announced in advance, so make sure to tune in. Can any oracles out there guess who it will be in one go? So there you go, absolute confirmation, we will be seeing our fifth DLC Fighter's Pass character here, and the presentation is 35 minutes long, so I expect like a detailed, in-depth history of the character, kind of like what we got with Terry, potentially their stage, music, all sorts of things shown off here. Over on Twitter, Prinny for Smash wrote, Papa, did you notice he also tweeted it in English? If I'm correct, the last time he did that was after Banjo's reveal. So that's pretty interesting. Sakurai did tweet this one out in both Japanese and English. So it's possible, much like Banjo, this character could be someone that Western fans really want. And now, of course, for the fun part, overanalyzing everything we just found out. So the end of Sakurai's statement talked about any oracles out there that might be able to predict who this character might be. And that could potentially point to the possibility that Sakurai may have already hinted at this character. This was something I've been talking about recently with all the picks of the day, or Daisy Theory. It's possible Sakurai is acknowledging the fact that this character could be predictable if you've been following things. Also, people are noticing a strange pattern with the number three here. There are three question marks, and Sakurai is holding his hand in a kind of awkward manner that shows three fingers. At the surface level, there's all sorts of things that could point to. Potentially, we're getting three more characters after the pass. Maybe we're getting three characters revealed here. Maybe we're getting a three-in-one character. I kind of had an idea for that for with Terry, something that would represent SNK's like switching out fighting game style. So maybe we're getting a character that's a three-in-one. Or maybe this links to Daisy Theory. Daisy is, of course, an Echo Fighter. And if on that one image, she really is a stand-in for our next DLC character, maybe that was also pointing to the fact that that character may get Echoes or alternate costumes like Hero or something. Something where this character might actually be three characters. One of the first characters I saw people guessing at with this three theory was Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot sometimes points out three fingers. It kind of fits what Sakurai is doing. And Crash Bandicoot seems to be a character that's more popular in the West than over in Japan. So Sakurai retweeting this one out in English could make sense with that character. Over on Twitter, at ZHugeX wrote, Image one, Sakurai is holding up three fingers. Image two, Suda51 is pictured with Sakurai and is holding up three fingers. Travis touchdown confirmed for Smash. And if you look at the image, Suda51 is indeed putting up three fingers, very similar to how Sakurai is in our presentation thumbnail. And Z-Huge actually went on to say, just to clarify, this is me making fun of Smash speculation, so I don't think he's being serious here. Even still, Travis Touchdown would be a really cool Smash character, though I feel like they would have held off showing uh, No More Heroes 3. They did that at the Game Awards, and if he was coming to Smash just a month later, I feel like they would have announced both those things together. Some other people have pointed out that Sakurai's hand gesture sort of looks like the Kingdom Hearts 3 logo. To get even further into this, here's a picture of Sora holding up three fingers, and of course Sora usually fights with Goofy and Donald, so would he be a three-in-one character? It's possible. Okay, I'm sure I'll get back to this Sakurai finger theory a little while later in this video, but for now, let's take a look at something else that's on this image. And that is the date. It is coming out January 16th. That's this Thursday, and there was something else that was announced for January 16th recently. Over on Twitter, at Devil May Cry wrote, Three little extra features coming to Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition for Nintendo Switch. Any guesses as to what they might be? Full reveals on January 16th, January 30th, February 13th. Now, of course, the game is Devil May Cry three, so that fits three right there. And of course, the January 16th date fits for the date of the Smash Direct. Initially, when I was thinking we were going to get a Nintendo Direct, I thought the Devil May Cry thing might just be, you know, something for Devil May Cry 3, and it would get announced in some Nintendo Direct. But now that it's just a Smash presentation, it's very possible we could be getting Dante as our next character. Dante's name is three characters, as in letters in Japanese, and also Dante could be a three-in-one character. It's possible. Very recently, a Devil May Cry voice actor may have even leaked that Dante is coming to Smash. There was this somewhat awkward podcast moment where they sort of just flat out said Dante was coming to Smash. But personally, after listening to it, I'm not sure if that was really a leak or just kind of an awkward wording that they used, meaning that Dante would be the character to get into Smash if a Devil May Cry character got into Smash. Over on Twitter, Sabi wrote, V's voice actor from Devil May Cry 5 claims that Dante is going to be in Smash. 
Now, I know a lot of people have written off both Sabi and Verge Ben's deconfirmation list, but once again, let's take a quick look at it. Sabi did have Dante on their deconfirmed character list, so it would be interesting if Dante actually did get into Smash here, as Sabi's source would have been wrong about that. Also, Verge Ben has Arl on his list, and of course, I've been championing Arl for the past few videos here. All right, so Dante is definitely a very real possibility here for who our next Fighter Pass character might be, especially given those dates lining up with the date of the Smash Direct. Next up, I want to talk about something really strange. This is like super overanalyzing the thumbnail image that we got. However, it may actually be onto something. Okay, so I'm not sure if people are calling this Photoshop theory or Sakurai background theory. I kind of like artifact theory, but who knows what's going to catch on here. Anyway, here's the theory. It says, notice the artifacting around Sakurai. This image was clearly cropped from the video itself. The brown part clearly has to be the poster behind him. And then it shows an image of Sakurai in front of the hero poster and Sakurai in front of the Banjo-Kazooie poster. The question now is, what character fits the color brown or some other dark color? And then it shows a picture of Doom Guy, Ryu Hayabusa, and Nightmare from Soul Calibur. People went back and checked the last few thumbnail images, and it does look like when they make these, they actually are just cut out pictures of Sakurai from the pre-recorded video, and you can kind of see the background that he was on in the artifacting around the edge of his cut out image. Here we can see the Banjo presentation, the Hero presentation, and the Terry presentation, and they all had that artifacting that does fit what was behind him in the video itself. I first heard about this theory from Monkey D. Lenny over on my Discord, but apparently it started over on Smashboards. Here's an image pointing it out, and it also shows that the color looks a lot like a dark brown and possibly some hints of like a gray or metallic green. Honestly, it fits Doom Guy very, very well. That could, of course, mean that the Kako Malo Me costume leak was real all along, and we are in fact getting Doom Guy here. That would be crazy. I'm a huge fan of Doom Guy. That could also mean Geno's in the works. That would be amazing. It's kind of best case scenario for me if Kako Malo turns out to be real. A lot of people have been looking all over the edge of Sakurai's image, and it does look like it's this brown, reddish, orange color, and then potentially some sort of gray, green color. Speaking of Doom Guy, over on Twitter, at it just be like it said, is Doom being represented in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? And Pete Hines actually replied. He said, I think that would be a question for the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate dev team. Honestly, that sounds exactly like the sort of deflecting that would happen if you were under an NDA. Keep in mind, Bethesda has confirmed they have talked to Nintendo about Smash. Whether or not that actually led to any negotiations for any characters or anything Bethesda and Smash is unknown, but that interview did happen. Now, of course, a mostly dark brown, orangish red background does kind of fit color theory. There is that orange in there. It would be a darker orange than I was expecting, but it could still be an orange. Now, of course, some other characters could fit this dark orange color, and I'm going to start talking about the character I've been talking about the last few videos here, Arl. Over on Twitter, at DenCommandSoft wrote me, I also believe this could be a nod to the first background of Puyo Puyo 2, this game in particular being the most iconic. And then if you look at the image, it has kind of that dark reddish-orange background, very close to what it looks like is around Sakurai. In fact, if you go all the way back to Mato Monogatari, Arl's original RPG series, a lot of that game is a brown-reddish brick color, very, very similar to the background Sakurai has going on here. If Sakurai were to represent Arl in Smash, I imagine he would use her to represent both Puyo Puyo and Mado Monogatari. And I could see a 35 minute long direct being very similar to Terry's where he goes over the whole history of the character. You could take Arl and go over the whole history with the RPG series by Compile and then moving on to the Puyo Puyo series and just everything that happened to that character. I could see a 35 minute long direct focusing on all that. There's also two other very strong points in Arl's favor that just came out. Over on Twitter, at Tracker underscore TD wrote, Yeah, that sure is Puyo Puyo series producer Mizuki Hoso Yamada retweeting the Smash Bros. announcement. Huh. So the producer of the Puyo Puyo series has retweeted Sakurai's tweet about the Smash Bros. presentation. And this is the first time the Puyo Puyo producer has ever done that for any of the Smash Directs. Spectrize over on Twitter wrote me, remember when Soraya underscore Saga like retweeted the November Direct in 2018 and people thought she was hinting Rex inclusion, which turned out to be a me costume? And that of course is a very real possibility here. Maybe these are actually hints towards Arl, but maybe she's like a me costume. Maybe Dante's the playable character and Arl is a me costume or something like that. It's totally possible here, so as always, be cautious. The other really interesting thing to happen with Arl recently is the Switch Sega Ages Puyo Puyo Dori will be released on January 16th. In Japan, Arl is getting a game released the day of the Smash presentation. 
Also, apparently, the new Sega Ages credits screen features animations of the characters walking that weren't present in the original game. They were animated from scratch by a former Compile artist. Storm Owl wrote me, Compile and Sega working together again? Hmm. This, of course, adds some more fuel to the fire of Storm Owl's theory that I was talking about in my Arl video. Basically, that the company Compile, the creators of Arl's original game series, don't actually own the rights to her any longer, and she's now entirely with Sega and Puyo Puyo, and it would be really interesting to see Sakurai merge those two companies together or represent Arl for her full, um, you know, gaming history. It's the sort of thing Sakurai kind of likes to do. This is the guy that got us Banjo back on Nintendo, that sort of thing. Also on the idea of a three-in-one fighter, at Zupon Fox wrote, three fingers, three question marks, Arl, Amity, and Ringo. It's possible a Puyo Puyo character could be a three-in-one, potentially with echoes or alternate costumes, something like that. And finally, there was a random 4chan leak back on the 12th. It says, Fighter 5 is Arl, direct this week on the 16th. Direct announcement on January 14th, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Screenshot this. And that is exactly what we got. However, I will say this is fairly guessable, and also this was after I was talking about Arl and everything, so it's totally possible someone just made this up based on the information we already had. So right now, I'm thinking Dante, Doomguy, and Arl, potentially like Crash Bandicoot or something, are all kind of the characters that are in the running here. If I had to guess on one, I'm guessing on Arl. But I fully admit that this is just a guess. It's not a leak or anything. I'm just predicting Arl based on evidence and stuff, so I don't know for sure. And I'm not as confident about Arl as I was for, say, Erdrick and Banjo, turned out to be Hero, or Terry. So although I'm guessing Arl, I'm not super confident in her. If it turned out it was Dante or Doomguy, um, you know, I'd be psyched about those characters too. I could be wrong here, but if I have to guess on one of them, I'm guessing Arl. Now let me go over some more out there speculation. Sakurai's three fingers could be pointing to a rep that actually has three fingers. Someone like Agumon from Digimon. It could be pointing to a Three Houses Fire Emblem rep, though I think the community would be really, really angry if we got another Fire Emblem character, especially in the Fighter's Pass itself. Here's one I really enjoy. Possibly it's pointing to Gino with those three question marks. Gino, when he first shows up, is just titled three question marks. On that note, once again, even though I'm guessing at Arl, if it turned out to be Doomguy and the Kako Malo Mi costume leak was real and we were getting Doomguy and maybe Gino is the first, like, post-Fighters Pass character or something like that, that's, like, best-case scenario for me. So, yeah, I'm still hoping for that one. Best Buy even responded to Sakurai's tweet and said, Waluigi, Dante, dot dot dot, it's killing us. If Waluigi was marked as a Wario series character, then yeah, the three fingers could fit Wario. Though I think Waluigi has only ever shown up in a WarioWare game in, like, the background of this one minigame, so he's only very tangentially related to the Wario game series. But hey, maybe they'd still mark him as one. Simply for his association with Wario in the other Mario spin-off games. At MuseKinnon underscore game showed me these two pictures. These are based on some of Sakurai's newer pick of the day, and pick of the day theory is a reaching theory, I fully admit. One of them shows um, Cosmos and how that Samus image could possibly relate to that, or even Arl, I guess. Um, and also Cosmos and Cosmos, uh, the character from the Katamari game. So that could have been what that Katamari picture was all about. We also have this picture, and at eGamerGlitch wrote, At Papaginos, this looks like that one fight in Ninja Gaiden where you battle a giant robot. So yeah, there's some more theories on some more of Sakurai's pick of the days. I admit that theory is pretty reaching. I don't think every single one of those pictures is a hint, if any of them are. The latest one is this picture of, like, it looks like a dead Captain Falcon looking at Mega Man. So I don't know what that one's hinting at, if it's hinting at anything or a reference to anything. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. Anyway, guys, that's everything I want to talk about in this video. Once again, my guess for the next character is probably Arl, but it is just a guess. If it's somebody else, I'm not going to be mad about that. I may even like the character better, so we'll see who we get here. In fact, since we know we're getting more DLC here, I suggest no matter who we get, not to get very angry about it because your favorite character may be coming next or a little ways down the road. I actually really hope Sakurai goes over a bit more about what the further DLC will be. Is it another Fighter's Pass? Is it just endless characters forever? Is it like less than a fighter's pass? Like three more characters? Can we get a time frame of when we're going to get them? I hope he goes over all that stuff before this fighter's pass is over. If I'm able to live stream the presentation, I will certainly do so. However, if I'm not able to live stream it, I will still put up a reaction video later on that day. If you guys have any thoughts or comments about any of the stuff I talked about in this video, leave them below. So once again, Thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.